Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Dragon Naturally Speaking software on a Windows computer for an accommodation for the speech to text in Oaks SBAC test for the 2017 testing window. I'm working on the Windows desktop computer with the Dragon Naturally Speaking 12.5 and Oaks Secure Browser 9.0. Prior to going into the Oak Secure Browser, you will need to open the Dragon Naturally Speaking and set up an individual profile for your student. This should only take about five minutes. First, I'm going to take you to the Dragon Naturally Speaking software icon, which is a green flame icon. You're going to double click on it to open it. When it opens, you're going to come over here to the new and make a new user profile or create a user profile and you're going to put the student's name. I'm going to put um, SBAC 2017 speech to text test and then I'm going to click next and here it says where would you like to store your profile um, the only option in here is going to be roaming profile and then here you're gonna the student will need to select their age group so generally they'll either be the 13 or under or 14 to 21 I'm 55 and older so I'm going to check that Next you need to choose the region. Uh, the region in the world that you're in, and generally all of us will be in the United States. Um, there are other options like Canada, United Kingdom, New Zealand, Australia, etc. So we're going to hit next. And your accent. Um, I have a standard accent, but if you have students that have a Spanish accented English, you can choose that. If you have a student that's um, come to Oregon from the south and they have a southern drawl you can choose that um, they also have inland north northern US or if you have somebody from Australia you can pick that they also have a teens one haven't tried that on a student yet but here So the next one is choose a speech device generally we'll be using um, headsets so the most common is mic in jack so you're going to choose that unless you have a USB or some other different um, recording device. So now it's you just look over your choices and make sure that you have the right things in there and then click create. So the position of your microphone is really important. You need to have the white um, dot facing your mouth and usually about a thumbs width away from your mouth. Um, then you click next and this is um, adjusting your volume on your Dragon Naturally Speaking. You're going to have to read this in and start the volume check. One thing I want to um, suggest is that if you have a student that has decoding issues you will want him or her to not try to decode while they're talking in so you can sit behind them and whisper in their ear what's on the screen so here we go while you're reading this the computer will adjust your microphone volume settings and then beep to signal that the process is complete so you notice that beep when I was finished and as I was talking the blue kept going up and down so that's the way it works if it isn't working you're gonna have to go into the control settings I'm gonna show you right here in the control panel under ease of access you can set up a microphone and go in next next Peter dictates Peter dictates into his computer and he prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper so that'll check your microphone to see if it's okay so mine was okay if it wasn't you might want to check connections so now we're going to go um, to the next screen, which will be the test of quality of your sound system. So this is going to be looking at like your volume and your if you are speaking loud enough and if you um, just how your voice sounds. So we're going to go to start quality check. And again, if you have a student that has decoding issues, you might sit behind them and read, whisper this in the back so they can read it in. Here we go.
For Dragon to recognize your voice accurately, it needs to check the quality of your audio system and your microphone. Speak into the microphone as clearly and naturally as you did in the previous step. While reading this, Dragon is listening to you and examining the quality of your audio. Once Dragon, so it's telling me that I passed. Again, if it didn't, you might want to go back and do that check again or try a different headset if that's a problem. So on this read text aloud to train Dragon, we're not going to work on training because this is students should already be familiar with speech to text. So we're going to skip training and go to next. And now uh, your profile is going to be updated. It only takes a few, a minute or so. While we're waiting on the screen, I just wanted to show you this is the microphone. And when um, the program has finished creating your profile, you're going to be able to click on this and it'll turn green so that you can start dictating. Okay, so this. Um, this is an advanced feature that looks, uh, it can import your emails and your documents, but we're not going to worry about that because it takes about 5 to 30 minutes. So you're going to uncheck sent emails and uncheck my documents, and you're going to go to next. And we're not going to have it improve during the testing window. You're going to say don't run data collection. And then you're finished. One other thing before we start, we have to go into Tools when it's finished here. So as you can see over here, it's initializing the software. And when it's ready, so what will happen here um, is we're going to close out of this tutorial because we are not going to do it. And it says, do you really want to exit the tutorial? And we're going to say yes. And then it's going to give you this sidebar that has controls in it, but we're not going to be dealing with that. And then I'll ask if, do you want to show the Dragon Bar uh, the next time you open? And you're going to say no, and we're going to close. The last thing I need you to do is to go up to Tools and under Options. There's this Options box, and what we need to do is down at the bottom here it says use the dictation box for unsupported applications. We want to uncheck that, say apply, and then OK. So great, we're ready to start with the um, Oak Secure browser. We're going to go in here and I'm going to go to the practice site and I'm going to click sign in. And I'm going to select grade 8. And then the next step is yes. And I'm going to click the start grade E LA chat. And then first thing you want to do that's really important is click permissive mode on. And the other thing we're going to deal with today is um, text to speech so that it can read items and stimuli accommodations. Then we're going to click select. And then it just has you check to make sure you've got everything on that you need on. And we're going to say yes. So now we're going to check the sound. And you're going to say the sound. You want students to adjust the volume to where they're comfortable. Um, have them play around with that till they know. And this is what's important during the practice test to get these um, steps set. Then the text to speech sound check. So when I click that, I'm hearing that um, it says this text is being read aloud. So what is important again is to check the volume. The pitch can change how it sounds. The rate is a really critical thing for some students. Some st students need it um, to speak slower. Some need it to speak faster. So have them play around with the rate. So now I'm going to begin the test. And what I want to show you right here is that this is the um, icon to speak passages. So you click on it. So it's reading to me now. And if I need to stop and pause, I can pause speaking. Then 
here's your questions regarding the passage. I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to go to the next page which is where our dictation um, with the speech to text will begin. I'm going to turn on my microphone. The author's message about the Oregon Trail is to relate how long and arduous the journey was, period. They cross the Oregon Trail going over 650 miles, period. You'll notice that I have some errors in here, so you want to make sure that after you finish speaking that you turn off the prediction, the speech to text, and now I'm going to go back and fix some of the errors, like they should be capitalized. Here's the miscellaneous stuff that I had, and I'm going to delete that. So that's, once you get through the initial thing, this is how easy speech to text is. Um, students sometimes can jot down notes on a piece of paper or also um, into the notepad. Um, you can talk some of your thoughts in there. So thank you for listening. I hope this helps you get set up for Dragon Naturally Speaking and the Oaks SBAC test.